Hello guys. I am going to do a spread in my memory planner. Uh, I've showed you this before. I have the uh, Happy Planner Memory Planner. It's the big size. Uh, I, actually, I think this is the only size the, the memory planner comes in. I may be mistaken. And you can use any size you want. But uh, all of and like I said, I may be mistaken, but all of them that I have seen that's actually called a memory planner is always in the big size. But I am going to work on my, uh, I'm still working on January. I'm trying to, to get caught up. Hopefully things has settled down a little bit around here where I can get some scrapbooking done. I'm going to be using my mini plan, my memory planner, sort of like Project Life. I'm going to document uh, weekly, and uh, even if it's just one thing that week, um, then I'll just decorate the rest of the spread. And but I want to document it weekly. I'm going to use this uh, American Crafts. Uh, it's called Stark Bright color magic. I'm going to use this for uh, the numbers to put on the days. I'm going to use this uh, sticker book. It's a Happy Planner sticker book. It's called Color Story. I'm going to use this to decorate with and I will incorporate other things also if I need to. Um, I pulled out a couple of stamps to use. I want to use this that says, Why Not Dream Big? I want to use uh, the stamp set if I can. I'm going to try to incorporate one of these little cars here. And um, I'm going to decide, uh, May the Lord be with you wherever you go. I'll probably use that one right there to go with it. You'll see what I'm documenting, <laughs> and you'll know why when you see it. Uh, I'm going to be using, as far as I know, these inks. This is the uh, Close to My Heart inks. This is a new one, and I don't know how to pronounce that. Sangria? S-A-N-G-R-I-A? Sang Sangria? I'm not sure how to say that. Cotton. <laughs> Cotton. Candy Apple and Sapphire. Um, I may use those, may not. So, I'm going to get started. This here, like I said, is uh, still in um, January. So, it's going to be starting with day 20. So, I'm going to use this sticker book. And I'm going to use these colors right here and I'm probably going to use the purple ones oh I forgot to show you these are the pictures I'm going to use let me make sure I'm in camera this is my grandson he just got his uh, learner's permit and he's driving and so this here was just a picture I saved from off of Facebook it says happy Monday good morning and I'm going to use that um, and I've got another one in there that wasn't supposed to be. <laughs> I'm going to use that in um, the layout. So, um, and he actually... Uh, now, I don't know. Okay. Some of my photos, like I said, I get off of Facebook from my children. And uh, so I don't know the day it actually happened. So... I saved the picture of my grandson on Sunday, uh, the 20th. So that's when I'm going to document it. I don't know the actual day of when he actually got his permit, but that's when I received the picture. So that's when I'm going to document it or along that area. Since I have this truck that says, uh, Happy Monday, I'm most probably going to put it right here and then... Maybe over this way, put Destin's picture. I want to trim this down because it's just 
a sliver too big when I cut it out from the uh, uh, when I ran them off. That one was just a sliver too big. And it hung over the side of the uh, box there, so I wanted to get that fixed. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and put this down because I know I want it on Monday. And like I said, I don't know the exact date uh, that Destin got his learner's permit. So I'm just putting putting it on the uh, close to the day that I saved the photo. And that is so crooked right there that it's pitiful. I didn't cut it straight, and I already got glue on the back of it. Let's see if maybe I can just straighten it up a little bit, and it will look better, maybe. Just a tad here. Okay, that looks better. Now, I'm going to put him here, and then I will document it right here. And because I have to get a lot of my photos off of Facebook from my children, I, like I said, I don't know the exact date these things happen. So I just have to document them where I can. Okay. So, um, I'm going to go ahead and start putting the numbers down for the days. Okay, this one is 20. I'm going to put it on the photo. And then I will put these beside it. Um, I, my videos are going to start being uncensored, unabridged, and just put up. The reason for that is I did a video earlier this morning that I was going to have to try to edit and add music to and stuff like that. And I'm going to blame it on age. I'm just getting to the place since I don't have that easy photo um, uh, um that easy mo movie maker that I had with my other computer. I could do everything I needed to do on it. But since I don't have it anymore, can't get it. It's outdated and can't use them on these newer computers. But anyway, I decided that instead of trying to beat myself or drive myself crazy or however you want to um, say it, uh, trying to edit a video and all this kind of stuff, I'm just going to come on here. I'm just going to do the video however long it takes. Uh, I may pause it if I have to go do something, but other than that, um, that's all I'm going to do to it. I'm just going to put it up as is. And hopefully, y'all will <laughs> enjoy it um, as is. And if it gets too long or whatever, I can't help it. I've just, I've reached the place that working with all of that just kind of, I don't know. It just, it starts racking on my, my nerves and I just can't handle it. And so, therefore, it makes me not want to do videos. But I want to do videos. So, if I just come on here and just do my videos, not worry about it, not worry about trying to edit it, um, not worry about how long it's taken, just do it, 
then maybe I will be able to put up more videos. Um, like I said, I don't know why I'm, I've got like I have, but I have just gotten to the place that it just kind of drives me insane trying to edit a video. I just, I don't understand what's happened to me, but anyway, it has. So, uh, we're just going to go ahead and do it like this. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take this 23 back off because I want to put a box right here and then I'll put the 23 back down. on top of it um, and like I said I'm going to be using this like project life so I'll be using the stickers from the memory uh, memory keeping sticker books but I also will incorporate some of my scrapbooking stuff if you know if I need to so <coughs> let me see here what I need. Now this here is going to be the, like I said, the only thing I'm going to be documenting for this week. It's the only thing that happened. The only thing that went on. Um, thinking I might since I have like a confetti here thinking I might put this right here I'm not sure about that but I end up moving it. <laughs> Let's see what else we have here. Uh, I didn't want just black and white, and I'm trying to do it. Um, kind of boy. Is that the, is that a word? <laughs> Doing it to look like a boy, since that's the only person this week. do this. In other words, I don't want it too girly. So these with flowers and things like that is kind of too much, too much pink. Now this one's cute. This one can go over here. I'm thinking I'm going to put it right here. There's a reason for that. Okay, now I want a black and white one. Since I have this black and gold and tan looking, I want something kind of along that line. To go down here, how about Be so good they can't ignore you. How about that one? Let's do that one. And I want this one right here. that. Okay, let's see about my stamps. Let's see. Let's see here. Alright, this one. Where can I put it? Where can I put it? How about we put uh, let's see. Let's 
Do I want it all the same color? Or do I want different colors for the words? How do I want this? See, I want some put some washi tape there because I don't like that side there. If I have some big enough, that will go. Okay. I think, let's see, I have five stamps and I pulled out three colors. So, I think I'll do the This one. You know what? No, because I want it different colors. That's right. I want it different colors. I wonder if I could stamp it and leave that there until I, so I'll know where to put it. I wonder if I can do that. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I want the Y and the big to be in the um, candy apple red. This one right here. I'm gonna try not to get my head in the way, but I do need to see what I'm doing. Okay. <laughs> All right, I'll clean off my stamps later. All right, let me go ahead and put that back where I want it. Take this right here. See if I can get this on here all the way. I'm gonna need my bigger block. Hang on just a minute. This right here. There we go. <clears throat> this is gonna be so neat. I think. This one, the dream, I'm going to do in this color, whatever color you would call this. Like I said, I can't pronounce that. And I have never used that ink pad before. Okay. And I'm, I'm doing this because, and I'm going to have to have that bigger block. Um, I'm doing using this color, whatever you call it, because his shirt is a purple. I thought that would help bring out the color in his shirt. Okay, and this is going to go right here. Now I can use a smaller block. And this is going to be the sapphire one. Ah, this one's neat. This one's not just the... Uh, the letters and it's not picking up good 
probably because I haven't used this stamp but once or twice so it's going to be kind of splotchy because it's not holding the ink good because it, it hasn't been conditioned good yet so anyway it'll be a little splotchy but that's okay I should have patted it on my arm before I put the ink on it that helps sometimes okay see how it's kind of splotchy right there but that's fine I like the way that looks that is cute all right so that is um, why not dream big the best day be so good they can't ignore you such a good day find your happy uh, over here it's got you got this and I want to get this stamp set out here this here is a um, May May made it stamps set I have used it a couple of times let's see if I can get it out um, now I've got to see where I might want this. How about, how about this goes right here, like this, and and I just thought this was cute because he's learning to drive, and this says. May the Lord be with you wherever you go. I thought that would be really cute. So, what I want to do here... I think I want to use the sapphire. Uh, I need my bigger block. I was trying to use my smaller block but I need the bigger one okay I want to do this in sapphire let me do this I don't know how that works or if it even works but I have seen people do that and say it helps we're gonna see all right let's get our little stamp inked up here and because this here is a um, rubber stamp I'm going to need my pad under it. My other stamps is the, uh, you know, is, has the foam on it. But the, the clear stamps doesn't, you know, it doesn't have like a, a padding on it. So you need a padding up under your page, uh, page wherever you're stamping at. To give it more of a crisp look so they say and I have found that it does does work okay so that is the sapphire now I think I want to guys y'all know I love yellow I love yellow and this picture has a little yellow grass in it and this over here has just a tad of yellow in it. I'm going to, if it'll show up, hopefully it'll show up. I want to use yellow. Um, I may have to kind of like outline it. This here is lemonade. It's um, close to my heart ink. And again, I've never used this one. This will be the first time I use it, and I'm thinking I'm probably going to have to do like a little light, light uh, uh, what am I trying to say, outline around it so it will show up, but I just want a little bit more yellow, and now I need to think of something yellow to put over there. We're going to see how bright and crisp this yellow is. I said this is the first time, and I didn't 
pat that on my arm. Maybe to pick up, hold it. We're going to see if this is bright enough to see. And I think I put it upside down. No, I didn't. <laughs> you probably can't see it on camera. But I can see it. And see what I'm talking about outlining it? I'm going to take my pen here, if I can get it. Uh, how about I use this pen right here? Uh, let's oh, let's use the blue, like that blue there, and like the car. And I'm just gonna kind of like kind of like make a box around it, sort of. Just to draw your eye to it. Where you or read it. Okay. So did that. Um I need something up here. Uh, maybe some little something over here. So what would I put and where would I find it? Let's look in my die cuts here. I hope my arm's not in the way. Let's see what I can come up with that will go with this. Okay, that's all just white. Looks like. Okay, what's in this little... It's just like a little notepad. I was hoping it had some sayings on it, but it's not. It's just a notepad. So that won't work. Okay. Uh, let's see what I have here that might work. Let's see. Let's see for a boy. Um. Uh, why don't we put a little Ringo? Boys likes dogs. We could put a little Ringo. What you think? Uh, maybe, let's see. Ha, ha, ha. Ho, ho, ho. There's a bone that would go with the dog. I don't know if that if I'm going to use that. I just seen it and thought, you know how it is. You just, things pop in your mind. I would put deer, but I'm going to be honest with you. My old grandson is not a big hunter. Um... The fox would be cute, but it's not really the colors that I need. I wonder if the silhouette of the Ringo would be better. And if you're new to my channel and you wonder why I'm calling it the Ringo, I've just recently, and I will be documenting it, I think it was in February, we had to put down my dog um, that I had for 13 years and he was a Boston Terrier and his name was Ringo. I think I like this one better. I will outline around the legs. Um, I do have another Boston Terrier now. Uh, Ringo was a boy. Um, I have a Boston Terrier now that is a girl but uh, her markings is different than what Ringo's was. So, um, 
that looks more like Ringo than the one I have now. And plus, I had just gotten started calling my little, uh, my little Boston Terrier dogs. I got started calling them my Ringos. So, that's why if you hear me say my Ringo, that's why. Because I did have a dog named Ringo, Boston Terrier. Okay, let's see, let's see. You know what, I could use this over here somehow or another, maybe. It's yellow, it would incorporate a little more yellow. Um, I'll just see how that's going to do there. Here are some words that I, let me see, I might... I can use these instead. Alright. I'm going to... Oh, sorry, guys. Oh, I knocked that over. Um, I don't know. I may add this and I may not. I'm just going to put it here for right now. But right here, I want to go ahead and glue this down because that's what I've decided I'm going to put on there because boys likes dogs not just boys but boys do like dogs so that would be good with this layout ah! oh I'm glad it fell that way now this was layered. This was made on my Cricut when I had a Cricut. I don't have one now. And uh, so it's layered with several uh, layers of cardstock. So it's pretty uh, thick. So that's why I'm going to use the liquid glue. Um, and I'm going to set that right there on it. Now, I thought it would be cute... To somehow or another have this bone, I wished I wouldn't have tucked that down. But you know what? I could, um, there we go. Just to put that there, the bone for the dog. I like that idea. But for this one, I'm just going to use my ATG. I'm just going to slip that up under the corner of that picture. Just to add something else to the layout. Okay. Uh, and like I said, that may be too bright. And then again, it may not. Uh, I'm not sure I like that. Let's see what I have right here that I might could use. Here's some letter, uh, yellow letter, uh, yellow words. I don't know if I can use them, if there'll be a word I can use. That says year, so that won't work. That's appointment. And I'm not sure what that stands for. U-S-T? List. L-I-S-T. Well, like U-S-T. <laughs> uh, let's see. Congrats. Hey, that would work. Congrating him for uh, getting his permit. Matter of fact, I can just put it right across there like that. And I may just slant it just for the fun of it. And now, uh, let's see, let's see, let's see if there's anything else. Anything else, anything else. Um, some of these words would be great to use 
in my um, planners, my days, however you want to say it. <laughs> uh, when I get my mind on something and then I'm trying to talk while I'm doing it, it just doesn't work. It just doesn't. Sorry, it just doesn't work. Okay, is that too bright of a teal, green, mint for these over here, or is that okay? I thought maybe I could do it like this, put smile. What does this one say? That says hello, how about that? Put hello across here and maybe smile right here. Uh, I really wanted a little tad more of yellow, but these doesn't work, so I'm gonna have to find yellow somewhere else. Hmm, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Where can I find some yellow? I really want a little bit more yellow. Um, I'm thinking I might... These are not yellow, though. But they are a greenish yellow. I could put one right there. And one right here. I need something to cover that up. I put that there. I've definitely got to have a brighter yellow over here. So what I'm thinking I'm going to do to get that brighter yellow, let me go ahead and glue these down and then I'm going to find some yellow paper in my scraps and use my heart punch. And put me some little yellow hearts around. Now, I'm hoping this is not going to show up too much on this vellum. It's supposed to dry clear, so hopefully... Okay, we'll put that right there. Now let's do this one. Put this one right here, like this. Okay. Let's put some glue on the congrats. Guys, let me know in the comments if you enjoyed this video. Um, if you'd like to see more like this. Because I think if I can do it this way and not have to worry about trying to uh, edit it and speed it up and add music and things like that to it, that I might be able to get more videos out. Um, because I can just come in here and sit down and do a layout and then upload my video and not have to worry about it. Um, 
I really miss doing videos, but uh, most of you know I am my mother's caregiver, and uh, sometimes it gets gets a little busy around here, and uh, between mine and her uh, doctor's visits and um, you know different things going on. And then just life itself, having to, you know, just do life, take care of business, uh, get groceries, cook, clean, you know, just all the things. Kind of gets a little hectic. So the easier I can make my video making, the better off I will be. And the more videos I'll be able to put up. So we're going to see what we can do with that. Alright. I'm going to cover up that where it says favorite picture. Put this here. Right there. I need something to go over here like a little word or something. Um, let's see what I have. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right, I'm sure I can find something somewhere. Make it happen. Um, hmm, I'm trying to see here what I want to do. I hope y'all hearing me. <laughs> I hope I am talking. loud enough that you can hear me. Like I said, I get to thinking about what I'm doing and, and I forget to say anything or... <laughs> All right. Uh, let's see. Today, today, today. Today, 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 today. Uh, I don't want to put a you got this. Because we already have that. Can't stop, won't stop. One day at a time. Uh... Let's see if I can cover this up here. Okay, I got something under there. stop. Now, I thought I might put this one day at a time because it's a little bit yellow. Greenish yellow again, but it will incorporate a little more yellow over here. So, I'm thinking I might add it right. Oh, you know what I was going to do? I don't think I am. I was going to put washi between the boxes, but I think I've changed my mind on that. So I'm just going to stick this right here like this. Just to give it a little bit more of that greenish. Now, 
I'm going to pause the video and I'm going to go look for some paper. Oh, I know I want to put washi here if I have a color that will work. If not, that'll just have to work. It's really not flowers. It's, uh, well, it does have a couple of little flowers, but it's mostly like the seed. and It may work. I may just leave it. Yeah, I'm thinking I'm just going to leave it. Okay, I'm going to pause the video, and I'm going to run go find some paper to punch out some little hearts. I'll be right back. Okay, so I found this piece. It's not exactly that color, but with it being over here, it would kind of draw that in to it. Um, and then I found this piece that I actually cut this little scallop piece of yellow out of. So that was perfect. I'm going to cut some hearts from that. And then I decided, since I have some gold foil here and here, I'm going to cut out a few hearts uh, out of the gold and just see what we can come up with here and how we can make it look. Okay, I wanted this over here. If I can pick it up. If I can pick it up. See, that's almost the color of that, but still. I was hoping to have that exact color. Let me look right here. I don't want to take up too much more time. It's already a long video, and I'm sorry about that. I was hoping I had something more that color. But I don't, unless it would be in here. Okay, I'm sorry. We'll just have to go with that. We'll just have to go with that. It's not really what I wanted, but it'll have to do. Okay, and then I wanted a yellow over here. To bring out some of that yellow. And then I wanted a gold one. And I think I will put it right here. Now, I need some over here. How about we put the gold one right here. The yellow one. Right here. And this color one right here. Okay. That's what I'm going to do right there. Now, let's get some glue on it. That way it brings out a little yellow, a little more gold, And I was hoping to have that color. You know what I might do? I'll tell you just a minute. Let me go ahead and finish this before I get sidetracked here. Before I get sidetracked here. Okay, I, like I said, I get to thinking about what I'm doing and then I get quiet. I'm sorry. I got to pay attention to that. Sorry about that. Okay, now what I was thinking that I might do to, well, sorry guys, I need to close this up so it won't. 
get stopped up. Okay. All right. What I was thinking about doing is grabbing my um, Tim Hope, my, what's it called? Ranger. I can't even think, guys. Help me here. Help me here. Distressed inks. <laughs> I want the lightest color, which would be like maybe uh, either that. I'm not sure that tea dye would work. Let me see. What is this? Old paper. That's what I want. Old paper. Okay. Grab my little distress tool thing here. Now, I'm not going to mash hard because I don't want it on the paper. I just want to... And I did get some on the paper, but that's almost impossible not to. So, I just want to mute that down just a tad so it's not quite so bright. Okay, I think that looks great. Now, it's not quite so bright. It uh, kind of blends it in more with these other colors. All right. Now, since I've made boo-boos, whenever you make boo-boos, you have to fix them. So, since I made boo-boos here and touched the paper, we're going to fix it. We're going to take it and go... Gotta get me some more ink and re-ink this pad. It's about gone. Cause I use this quite often. This is my go-to when I'm wanting to make my paper look old and vintage. So I've got to get me some some uh, more of the ink. I just want the, the corners to kind of look, and the edges to kind of look aged a little bit. Since I got that down there on that. And now let's do this one. I definitely have got to buy me some more of the old paper ink to re-ink my pad. Alright guys, there we go. That's the way you fix your mistakes when you don't want something and you accidentally get it on there. So let me move this out of the way. I've made a big old mess here, but hey, that all goes with crafting, right? So there is my layout. And my for my memory planner in the January uh, 20 through 26 and I think it turned out really cute and I really think I'm gonna start um, not think I'm gonna start I've already made that decision <laughs> I am going to 
this is the way I'm going to be scrapbooking for a while is in my memory planner. So I wanted to share that with you. Sorry my video is so long. If you stayed with me to the end, thank you so much. And if you are not a subscriber and would like to see more videos like this, please hit that subscribe button. And just in case, so you won't miss any of my videos, hit the bell beside it and that will give you notifications when I put a video up. Um, hit that like button because that helps me to get my videos out there more. And um, leave me a comment. I love, love, love. Now why is that like that? See, now this has moved from where I had it. <laughs> I don't even know if what I've been doing has been in frame. This crazy hook that I have up here, it will move on me. I'll position it and then it will just completely move on me. But anyway, hopefully you have seen what I've done. But here is my layout. And, uh, oh, I was saying, leave me a comment. I love to read your comments. I'll do my best to answer everyone if it's real busy where I really don't have time to think of an answer and to, to reply. I will hit the like button or the little heart to let you know I saw your comment. I love comments, so be sure to leave me some comments. All right, guys, I hope you've enjoyed it, and I will talk with you all later. Bye!